and welcome back to another review here at Total Toy Recon. Today, we are going to be dealing with the 1-6 scale mini bust blue snaggletooth. Some in the Star Wars fandom refer to him as Zutton. Others refer to him as Snivion. Now, I'm, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but to me, he is always a blue snaggletooth, which originally, this character, if you're going, who the heck is this guy? actually came in a Sears exclusive cardboard cutout of Tatooine and you got this guy, the blue Snaggletooth. Kind of loosely based on the red Snaggletooth, who's a shorter figure, who had the same uh, head, but with slightly different boots instead of having fuzzy feet, all kinds of weird stuff. But this is the blue Snaggletooth. This was also a Premier Guild exclusive at General Giant released by Diamond Select Toys. This is limited edition to 2,000. We're going to open him up here today and see how cool he really is. So let's do it. Snivian. Yeah, who would have thought, right? All right. So here we have number 115 of 2,000. We also have our collector's card, which is our letter of authenticity from General Giant, 115 of 2,000. There's lots of confirmation things on here, which is what I like. And... I guess when it's the Premier Guild, maybe that's my indicator. It gets the royal treatment, and then you get this inside. This on the inside. Not every one of these has this. So please forgive me as I use a wine key to open up the styrofoam box. Or the styrofoam coffin, as I usually refer to it as. And yes, I do keep all my boxes, all my styrofoam, because you're going to transport these again someday. You might as well keep the box. But I also like to keep it that it has like a hinge, like a like a book binding end, so that I know which way it goes back, so you're not doing this flip flop thing and never rends ends back in the same spot. So, okay. Now, there are two versions of this. There is a Premier Guild holiday version, and there is a Premier Guild just regular blue snaggletooth. I ended up with the blue snaggletooth. That was not the holiday version. We'll set him aside here. We do have a blaster. And we do have an extra hand. So all of this really nice, neatly packaged. Um, you know, not a lot of points that it's going to break when it's being shipped. The styrofoam helps with that. So we've got Zutton or Snivian right here. Got a great human hand, which is another interesting factor because... There's monster hands on the, the action figure, not monster feet on the blue one, but here we have human hands. So we have the magnets that go right inside here. And we just link it right there. And we have this really nice, crazy, like big dude monster cantina alien. Um, flip it over here, we have 115 to 2000. Um, the holiday one was a little different. I don't know if I could have, have swung putting that out every year, but I have been trying to get all the Premier Guild uh, Cantina Aliens. I just love the Cantina Aliens. Um, I, I did do a review of Lak Chivak, which is the like basically the Wolfman guy, and then I have the Devil guy. You know, um, so I've got more people coming, but this was a really nice touch. I love. Ooh, it's sharp too. I love the little fang coming out here, and. This is a nice touch. Now, you know, a diehard person who actually, you know, knows Blue Snaggletooth uh, knows that this was on the belt. So that's a nice little feature there. But you've got this like, you know, turtleneck version, you know, like leather jumpsuit, you know, blue, really nice detail. And also I have to give it up to the hair. It's not just a straight one color. There's shades of, of uh, gray and brown in here. But again, the yellow gloves, such a nice touch. You put this up on the mantle. The true Star Wars fan in your life is going to know they made a mini bus, a blue snaggletooth, and you're like, of course they did, and of course I own it. But everybody else is going to go, what the heck is that thing? And it starts the whole conversation where you can talk about the Sears exclusive, this really rare figure, cardboard cutout, the whole bit, and now they sell for like, I, I googled it on eBay, they're anywhere from like $500 to 1000 I mean, it's like insane, and it doesn't even come with the packaging. Now, it has been... Uh, paid homage to in uh, the Clone Wars. So that's kind of nice. But overall, you know, I mean, are you going to drop a thousand bucks? No. 
you're going to drop maybe 120 ish depending on where you're getting it with shipping for this guy. This is a nice statue. Nice pieces here. Really well done. Gloves are really worn. Like it's it's a worn glove. Like it's a it's a hand that's held the blaster before. It's really nice. So this is nice collector's piece. And definitely a conversation starter. So we're going to give you some scale here real quick. From his base to the top of his head. He's about five and a half inches. And you know what? We'll bring the Mando in. This is a vintage collection uh, Mandalorian from the first release of the figure. Gives you an idea of the scale. And then... We have a Black Series Flamethrower Trooper right there. So we're giving you a lot of scale here. Oop, there you go. A lot of scale here to show you the size of this. But these guys are all in about the same 1-6 scale lines. If you're getting all the Cantina aliens, you're definitely lucking out. This is Bob from Total Toy Recon thanking General Giant for sending out this beautiful figure, a beautiful mini bust. And you have a good evening.